Hey, this is Matt coming to you from Luthier's Mercantile. Today we're going to be assembling some soprano ukulele molds. So we're going to get started by quickly dry running our parts here. Your kit will include a couple of clevis pins that you can use to put into the indexing holes in the molds. You're going to want to make sure that you've separated your two sides out. The tops of the molds will have engravings in them to show you what they are. And then the bottom of the mold will have this kind of inverted pattern here. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to make a mark on both of these areas. The reason I'm doing this is we don't want any glue in these areas. For this mold to fit together and pivot with those two pivot points, we can't have any glue here. So my dry run is looking good. I'm going to go ahead and mark the other side very quickly. And now we're ready for glue. So I'm going to start with my right side here. A couple of clamps ready. I'm going to grab my glue bottle. And now because I have my mark there, I know where it's okay to glue and where it's not. So we'll spread a little bit of glue. Really doesn't take much. And I'm just going to spread the glue around a little bit with my finger. I think I'd like a little bit more glue. And now we're going ahead top on. We use our indexing pins to make sure it is lined correctly and just double verify that that feels right and it does. I'm going to take a couple of clamps. I really like these cam style clamps because they have such a wide face on the bottom here, so they can really stand on their own with the work. And you'll probably have a little bit of squeeze out. Just come through the paper towel, clean that up really quickly. All right, now I'm gonna set this off to the side and go ahead and do my left side. always being conscious of this surface here since that's the surface that will be touching the sides of the ukulele. I want that surface to be clean, clean, clean. All right, this is looking good. So we're going to give these a minute to dry and then we'll get started on spreaders. So we're going to be assembling the spreaders for the mold now. And you do need to remember that the spreaders are sided. There's a right and a left side. So the left side is going to have these notches cut out, and those are going to be for the steel cross dowels that are gonna that will allow them to actually spread with the hardware. So we get our like sides, we open them up. The insides of these are going to have these relief cuts, so make sure you glue them on the inside. You'll end up with a square hole on the edge like that. get a little bit of glue. Be careful not to get any into those relieved cuts. It will impede the hardware from actually allowing the spreader to work. Get a little bit of 
glue on there, spread it around a little bit. A bit more glue for good measure. to roughly position those. Sliding them together gently like this will tack the glue up and give it a little bit more hold. Put our pins in. That's lining up pretty nicely already. So I'm going to get my clamps here. apply clamping pressure with both pins in. So, same principle as the body mold. We want this surface to be clean, clean, clean because it's going to be bearing against the surface of our sides. And so I'm just taking a little extra attention there. And this is looking good. I'm going to set this off to the side and do the left side. So we're going to assemble the hardware now. I have a drill. This is going to make this a lot easier. Have a couple of pieces of quarter 20 all thread. Steel cross styles, washers, and nylon lock knobs. So, what we need to do is get the nylon lock knob onto the all thread, but over here. And so the easiest way we've found to do that is just with a drill truck. Put your all thread in, and then you can just drill it onto the knob. As soon as it hits that nylon, it's going to be really tight, so this is hard to do by hand. You'll need to lock your all thread into a vise or something if you're going to screw this on by hand. I'm just going to check our distance there. We want to leave about three quarters of an inch left on that all thread, so I'm going to go down just a little bit farther. All right, and that's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this one. Now we'll put our washer there, bearing against the bottom surface of the knob, and our steel cross dowels on the other side. The cross dowels will bear against the notched surface of the MDF, and when spun, the nylon will keep the, the knob from spinning and will cause the two to spread apart, or to contract if that's what you're trying to do. And now we're ready for our final assembly. We've got our spreaders, a left and a right, and so we can put our hardware into the spreaders. it into our mold and by turning the knobs we can bear our spreaders against the bodies of the mold. And that's the final assembly. So that's the assembly of our Soprano ukulele mold. I've been Matt. Please click like and subscribe below. It helps our channel grow. And thank you for watching.